they were doing tense frames cards so I got these system cards um, they're, they're basically blank cards that look like this and it measures 127 by 76 millimeters but it's about um, 3 by 5 inches and we will also be needing a ruler to measure out the frames and the self-adhesive color dots so once you have um, your card you could put a line right across it dividing it into two parts and each part is gonna have a small frame like this so each the top half should have five frames and the bottom half should have five next we just start putting in the dots in each frame what we want to do is keep the color consistent, so if you're going to use blue for one for one um, card, just blue, use blue all the way. So my dots have different colors and I'm, I'm going to do different colors for the cards, but consistent for each 10 frame that I have. So just put it right in the middle, and then um, you could put it in different places. This is basically going to help kids with their um, subsidizing or mental maths. And we're going to do several of these and I'll, I'll show you later what, it, what those are going to look like. So we're done doing our 10 frames, 10 frames, and here they are. So they're good for teaching some math concepts like um, maths facts. It's showing something like this to kids would uh, teach them that 3 plus 1 is actually the same as 2 plus 2. They both equal 4. They could also be used for teaching the concept of doubles so four and four make eight then um, you could use it they could have different ways of, of counting it or of, um, figuring out what's on the card so if we're looking at nine they could be looking at the top part as having five because it's a tense frame and then the bottom part could be five minus one so that so they're practicing subtraction um, just by taking away the one that's empty. They could use it for doing simple addition. So five plus one makes six. And then it's also good for teaching place values. So if you use two sets of tens frames, so we have the tens place here, uh, a, a card that's all filled up um, with the dots and partnered it with another card that has just four dots in it. That makes the tens place plus the ones place so they see how place value would work so 10 plus 4 becomes 14 so tens frames are actually pretty good at teaching different math concepts too I also like mixing up where we put the dots so it's easy for them to just really look at the frames and look at the dot placements in different places because if we put it consistently as one straight line then that that won't really be good for flashcard style teaching so you can put it um, like put spaces between the dots or put bigger spaces put them in sections or just put them in lines like that so that's our tens frames cards